हाउ टू स्टार्ट एंड प्रिपेयर सी एस आई एन लाइफ साइंस विद लिमिटेड टॉपिक्स इफ दैट इज द क्वेश्चन दैट यू आर आस्किंग राइट नाउ दैन दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट फॉर यू बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर सी एस आई एन एट लाइफ साइंस विद लिमिटेड टॉपिक्स नॉट स्टडिंग एवरी सिंगल टॉपिक ओके ऑल राइट ऑल दो इट्स नॉट रिकमेंडेड बट स्टिल विद लिमिटेड टॉपिक्स यू कैन स्टिल क्वालिफाई सी एस आई एन एट एग्जामिनेशन एंड टेल यू वाई एंड हाउ सी इन सी एस आई एन एट लाइफ साइंस द सिलेबस इज ह्यूज एंड द रीजन सिलेबस इज ह्यूज इज बिकॉज देर आर मल्टीपल डिसिप्लिन ऑफ लाइफ साइंसिस फ्रॉम वेर द स्टूडेंट्स कम इन राइट स्टूडेंट कम्स फ्रॉम जूलॉजी फ्रॉम बॉटनी फिजियोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोकेमिस्ट्री मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी बी फार्म and what not for every single discipline student comes in right for the csi and life science exam that's why the syllabus has some topic for individual disciplines so you may not master every single discipline that's quite logical that's quite okay so you need to master only few units among all the 13 units okay so even with the limited resources and topics you can top you can answer enough number of questions to get through the csi and life science here is how see in csi and life science there are three sections part a part b and part c you know part a is general aptitude part b is a uh, memory based direct two marks questions and part c are four marks analytical questions now in part a this is a totally separate game so i'm not be talking about it i'll be talking about subjective that is part b and c in part b you need to answer 35 questions and there will be total 50 questions asked so you can choose only 35 out of 50 and in part c there you need to answer 25 questions and there will be total 75 questions so yes 25 out of 75 so basically you can choose one out of every three questions from part c and part c carries maximum weightage that is 50% of the total marks of csi and net life science syllabus so yes in part c you can answer 25 if you can answer them correctly you will get 100 right and the cut off marks for csi and life science uh, supposed to be 120 for general category jrf which is the maximum so considering that fact 60% means 120 marks and if you can acquire 100 marks in part c then 20 marks you can easily get from part b and part a combined isn't it it would be easy for you so that's why it's a trick that uh, you know from every single unit there are 13 units and consider there are 75 part c questions so approximately uh, there will be 6 five to six questions from every single unit on average although you will see in reality there are some units where they ask only three four question there will be some units where they ask eight nine questions even 10 questions sometime so that biasness is there but keep it aside the idea is approximately six to seven questions okay so five six questions actually five to six question so five to six question approximately per unit now consider that you prepare only eight out of 13 units Eight out of thirteen units, but you prepared those eight units to the depth of knowledge needed to answer any question from those topics, from those units. So, how many questions approximately you'll get? Forty questions. Five into eight, forty questions. So, among forty questions, still you need to answer only twenty-five questions. Yes, true. So, even you prepare eight units, still you get plenty of options to choose in Part C, while in Part B. Uh, approximately how many questions again think of it 50 questions are there so approximately uh, four questions per unit three to four questions per unit so again if you prepare eight units you will approximately get uh, 30 questions 30 32 questions so among 30 to 32 questions you need to answer only 25 questions okay so again uh, only 35 i mean 35 questions but you will get 30 to 32 question from your topic so let's imagine among those 30 questions you can only answer 20 or even 15 you can score 30 to 40 marks so consider this part c you are getting 100 the options to answer 100 marks in part b you are getting an option to answer uh, 40 marks so automatically you can answer 140 marks question okay and if you consider part a also which i have separate video for so you can answer eight questions quite easily you can see my video on that so with this you can answer 150 to 160 marks questions even preparing eight units that's true preparing eight units still will give you enough number of questions to answer to qualify the exam because consider if you answer only 140 marks questions and you have plenty of negative markings obviously you need to take count of the negative marking and after the negative marking you can get 120 20 marks debited 
still you'll get GRF in the general category. It is a possibility, right? It is a big possibility. So there is no doubt that with limited resources, you can still qualify CSI net life science examination quite easily. But okay. all you need to do is select the units that you really love, select the units that you have real passion for, start preparing them without looking any other way and prepare them A to Z. I mean, every single detail of those units, be it a seven unit, be it eight units, every single topic from a good peer reviewed book like Bruce Alvarez for cell biology, Gilbert for developmental biology, not notebooks because the notebooks that we provide and any coaching institutes provide are good for revision, not building the basics. To build the basics, there is a whole channel, my channel, more than 3000 videos are out there for building your basics for CS and life science preparation or any other life science entrance examination preparation that you can think of. So utilize them, prepare your basics and then revise from books like our blueprint book that you can get from our website from us if you join our coaching. So that's all about the preparation of CS and life science with limited topics. Hope this video helps you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this in future. Thank you.